there everyone today we're gonna take a running jump this is a pretty simple level on account of the fact that you only have builders so it's not hard to figure out what to do with everything death is this way and this is splatting distance so with our builders we're just gonna have have to have like four guys go go over with bridges here when it gets to about 10 lemmings or so well maybe maybe a little more than that but you're gonna want to put the release rate up to 99 fairly early on See, it's going to take four of these guys to get over the hump here. There we go, and now they're all safe. And though this looks like splatting distance right here, they'll actually catch on this little hook right here. And that's the thing about this level, is that there are a lot of pixel-perfect type, type drops like this. Like, it looks really close, but it's fine. And now over here is the part you want to watch out for, because they can make their way up through these little cracks, and they'll eventually come out to this edge and go for a splat. One guy is going to do that, but what he needs to do is we need that one guy who's going to do that to build in this little crack right here. When you make him build, he will fill in the hole, and he'll go on and die, but that plugs the hole so that everyone else turns around. He's the one who has to die in this level, so you're getting out pretty much... You're getting out pretty much with, you know, right on 98%. You can only kill that one guy, and from here it's a pretty simple exit to the level. He's going to build up once he gets to this little uh, chain link thing right here, and our little old guy should be coming over the top any time now, about to die. Going to die amongst the crowd. So sad. There he goes. Oh, little guy didn't break his fall. <laughs> that's so that's so sad and really kind of morbid. But that's it right there. You don't even need the full 30 builders. In fact, I only used six of them. That's 20% of what you actually need. And yes, you do run up a little short on time, but you can still beat this level with a full minute remaining, so it's not really even that difficult. Alright, here's another one of those where we're going to press up on time a little, so we want to be really careful about what we do here. We want to pause to give ourselves a few extra seconds, because we're going to need them, and you see we have very little in the way of any kind of tasks here. We get 10 bombers, which we're not going to need. It's pretty much going to be all bashers and bombers in this case. So we're going to get out our bashers. Guy number two in line back here is going to go from about, I think we're going to put him about right here bashing. And we're going to want to make a tunnel through each side here, through the little thatch side and through the blue, crazy, splotchy block side. And so we're going to have to put two tunnels right here and then we're going to have to uh, build our way up using the guy who goes ahead and then we're just going to have to kind of press our luck building out the other way so here we go we're going to want to make fairly long tunnels out of this what we do is now we're going to go bash this guy is going to bash right here and he's going to bash for a long time so that he has a lot of space to maneuver and we're going to start building i think i may have started building roughly a little too soon but we'll see how it works out you see what we have now is these guys bashing their opposite ways we put the release rate up to 99 which is going to be terrifically necessary here and so now what we're gonna have him do is we're just gonna build up to the top using what builders were given the seven meager builders we have and now as they're walking along now we're gonna get no 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 whoo that was close and we're gonna have these guys build that's a fairly long tunnel to keep them contained so that we'll try to have a little more luck when we try to uh, build our way out. But as it turns out, I don't think we're going to have to do that because the little guy is coming on his way fairly quickly and he is going to get to the top with, um, yeah, I just realized I only have one builder left. So, uh, yeah, there's no way they're making it out of this pit. So I started from way too far up. You got to like hit up on the edge of the pit like right here so we're gonna have to start building from roughly down here I started way too early let's try that again okay a few important changes to note here I've made my tunnels farther apart I still went through the last little bit here and built all the way to about here but instead of putting the tunnel that goes to the left in this space I put it over here with all these arcing ones so they have a big wide space to walk through that should fit 80 lemmings and pretty much take away the need for luck based building and notice where I've started building from here. It's much closer to the 
to the platform, and it's only going to take four bridges to get up there. So you want to start from about here, this third wide block from the left. And since he's about to the top, we can have somebody start building their way out now from right here. And that should get you out of the level without any sort of, uh, without any sort of luck-based element involved. We'll make sure to, there, that he got to the exit pretty safely. And there go the rest. So this should be a surefire way out of the level as long as they can get from about, this, these should be the last couple guys in the exit right here. And if they can make it from here to the exit, they have to walk all the way over here and then back in just two minutes. They should be able to do that and they should be fine. So I think we pretty much got this one in the bag. And there we go, we've saved our requisite 90% already, so yay for that. This level gets a lot of well-earned hate because it really belongs more in mayhem than in taxing. You have to get everything exactly right, there's a small element of luck to it no matter how far ahead you plan in advance. And it's the kind of level where, if you, even if you know how to do it, it's going to take you 50 tries to pull it off without a hitch anyway. So, uh, if you dig at the top here, that get, saves a guaranteed 25% of your lemmings. Now, the majority of them are going to come out of this hatch down here, so you need to build a contingency bridge right here. Because about 50% of them are going to come pouring out of this pipe. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the builder a climber while he's at it. And he needs to climb as soon as he gets on top of this steel block right here. We're going to be waiting for him to climb up to the top of it. And we're just going to click, 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 click. And that's about where I like to get a building right there. So that his bridge is actually sticking off of the uh, steel block a little. That's kind of how I like things to be going there. This is going to give us a few second chances. And this level is a lot easier if you only handle one side at a time. It's going to make things difficult later on when we try to uh, save all these guys because they, they're they still walking around closely enough that you can uh, make somebody build to the left when you want them to go to the right. But uh, we'll just see how it all works out. It should be just fine. Now he's going to need to build again because he's created a very tiny hole that he can still walk through. So he needs to build another bridge to plug up that gap. And once he builds, once he builds that bridge right there, He's going to turn around, of course, but when he comes back, he's going to bash through. And he's going to bash through in such a way that it's going to reveal no ground underneath this uh, underneath this exit, which is exactly what we want. That's exactly what the creators want you to do. And as soon as he gets started bashing, we're going to start climbing and building. Climb well. Got, got to him a little too late. But So we're going to wait for him to come back around. And uh, once he gets up here, he's going to bash, and we're going to get started with the uh, we're going to get started with the climbing in the building on the other side as well. It's way too much work to have to keep up with all of these guys at once. Okay, it looks like I got a uh, looks like I got a climber going to the right, so we can uh, start right in on this. This one's a little harder to get to stick out than the other one. But as he's going, he's going to bash through and he's going to die. You can kill one lemming in this level. You can actually save all of them, but that is a lot more hassle than it's worth. So he's going to just bash through the other side and die. That's unfortunate for him, but that's just kind of the way Cookie crumbles sometimes. And when he builds, he's going to build another bridge, and he's going to pretty much match up perfectly with this little piece of land right here. In fact, he's going to go another tile and it's just going to mesh in perfectly. That's not what I wanted to do. I was trying to build out of there, thank you very much, but it may be a little easier now. There we go. They're building their way out, and now we should have one what, one bi bri bi bri bi bridge to build to the exit, which we need to start roughly a little bit to the left of the steps. And now because we planned ahead and saved these guys, They'll go ahead and build out the right way, walking up this way. These are the guys you need to really worry about. There's a little bit of luck involved over here. As you can see, we were fortunate enough to have a second chance um, over here because he was building to the left. That's the kind of thing that tends to happen to me a lot. But these guys, we saved them from any sort of luck-based element by just building first so that we knew they would be able to get out. And that's the majority of them. Those are the ones you want to save right there. Really nasty level. I hate playing this one, but I'm glad to be passing now. So I think we probably have time for maybe one more today.
All right, so this le the level we're going to start with tomorrow is going to suck as well. But in the meantime, we're going to end today with a fun one. You get 10 blockers, 10 bombers, 10 builders. So it should be fairly obvious to figure out how we're going to make it up to the exit in this one. We're not going to do anything just really super fancy here. We're just going to build up until we hit our heads. And then we're going to just place blockers strategically and go as close as possible uh, to the ceiling. At which point we're just going to bomb our little heads through it. So uh, this one's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to start doing that right now because we have no builders to waste whatsoever. And for the time being, we're going to keep the release rate where it is. It's not like you're going to have trouble building your way out or anything, but there we go. We're going to just start popping our little heads in. And uh, once we get to the roughly the top, that's a great spot right there. That is some prime blow upage right there. So this is a pretty simple level, but it's a lot of fun, especially if you're into the more sadistic elements of Lemmings the way I am. You just want to keep building the top. You're going to have these little weird looking right triangle style bridges too. Okay, right there. Closer you can get to the wall, the better. You're probably going to have a few builders left over actually. Nice, okay. And so we're going to build our tippy way up. You want to make sure you're at the top of the bridge every time you rebuild. Because that helps you get into the hole, helps you get a little closer, a little closer to the top, and a little closer to nature. <laughs> I don't want to do any editing in this level because it's just too much fun watching them go wee wee and blow up and go pop. Oh man. So you are going to have kind of a little lopsided hole like this, but that's perfectly okay. It, you shouldn't need the full. You shouldn't need the full ten bombers to get through here. You only have to save 60% of them as well, so you only have to save uh, technically 48 lemmings, which is which is uh, handy when you get near the top and uh, you have a bunch of them kind of running around together right here. That's going to come in handy because some of them, when you make a blocker, they're just going to walk off to the side. I think this should be about the last uh, about the last guy we have to bomb right here because we want to save a few builders, at least one for the top. That is a perfect hole for building our way out of here. And we're going to want to set up a blocker. There we go. Yeah, they're going to walk perfectly out of that hole. In fact, that's a single guy right there. So uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, set him up about right there. And it should be able easy to get a guy to go over to the right. Excellent, 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 excellent. Raise the release rate to 99. And that one is one and done. That is definitely a first try kind of level, which I like actually. It seems overwhelming at first. You're like, the ex the entrance is down here, the exit's up there. How are we going to do this? But And then you do it somehow. It's just it's just one of those levels that works out so just, so just perfectly. And I love it so much. And I love that we're going to get to leave off with a level like this today. We're going to blow up these guys and say adieu to them. And tomorrow we're going to bid adieu to the taxing rating as well. We're going to go straight from taxing into mayhem. And we're going to start tomorrow with a really shitty level called Poor Wee Creatures.